Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me for this bar class. I want to let you know that you'll need a sturdy chair next to you, nice safe space to move around. You could wear tennis shoes, socks, or even go barefoot. Once you have everything that you need, go ahead and place your feet flat on the floor. Try to feel the floor with your feet. Go ahead and wiggle your toes around. Excellent. Now let's check your posture. First, act like there's a string pulling your spine up to the ceiling, elongating your torso. Always want to grow taller. Good. Now let's make sure that your earlobes are right on top of your shoulders. Your shoulders are right on top of your hips. Those are square to the front. Your abdominals wrap around and contract that belly button in towards the spine. Okay, you always want to protect your spine by contracting your abdominals in. Now with your hand over your belly button, think about your center of gravity. It's about two inches in from this belly button. Okay, now make sure that center of gravity is right in between both feet equally. Equally in between both feet around the arches of the feet. Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and slightly bend our knees, roll the shoulders up and back. No stress in those necks. Good. Again, up and back, contracting your shoulder blades together, keeping your chest open and shoulders nice and open. Good. Take a deep breath in. Get oxygen to all parts of your body. Good. One more. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Relax those necks. Relax those shoulders. Excellent. Now you're going to make sure that you have one hand on your sturdy chair. You're going to take that center of gravity. Now move it over to the right leg and lift the left. Good. And vice versa. Good. Here you're practicing your weight transfers, making sure that you're nice and vertical. Also, something to think about is keeping your chin parallel to the floor. Here you're working on your proprioception. Good. We always want to make sure our proprioception is nice increasing our body awareness. Good. Now lift the whole foot off the floor by pressing off the balls of your feet. Heel push. This also stretches those feet for you. Good. Chin parallel to the floor, working on our proprioception. Again, there are proprioceptors all over your body, on your joints and your muscles. Those signals tell your brain where your feet are, what they're doing, where your arms are, where all your limbs are, without you having to look down or look at your arms. The proprioceptors tell your brain exactly where your feet are, what they're doing. Good. And rest. Excellent. Okay, make sure you have a good, firm grip on that sturdy chair. You can place the other hand on your hip. We're going to do our heel raises. Feet are parallel. Always make sure your knees and your toes are facing the same direction. Always. Here parallel, the toes are, are facing more forward. Now we're going to lift those heels up and then slowly come down. Lift straight up, slowly come down. Now if you're comfortable, you can go ahead and place both hands on the chair. For a little more support. Good. Lift straight up and down, moving that center of gravity forward and up each time. Lift up and down. Good. Three. Good. Big toe balance. Two. Last one. We're going to try to hold up there. Majority of your weight goes towards that center of gravity. Big toes. Big toes and rest. Good. Give your legs a shake. Now we're going to balance on one foot. So transfer. You can still be facing the chair, by the way. You're going to transfer your weight over to that right leg. Lift the left foot up. Roll the ankle around. Get nice and straight. Vertical line still. And back the other way. That line ends right at that right arch. Okay, same thing to the left. Transfer the weight. Once you're balanced and your center of gravity is right over that left foot, right around the arch, then you could lift up that opposite leg. Excellent. And balance here. Good. Shake out those legs. Good. 
Now we're going to come to first position. Again, this could all, all be facing the chair. All right, first position, you're going to rotate from your hip joints, okay? Always rotate your legs from your hips. Start at the hips. Make sure that your knees and toes are facing the same direction. One hand on the chair, one hand on your hip, or both hands on the chair facing the chair. Good. We're going to do our tendus. We're going to shift our weight over to the right foot. We're going to tendu our left foot forward and then back to first. Forward and back to first. Now try to feel the floor and move through your foot, meaning you lift your heel first and then the ball of your foot points the toe. Good. Keeping nice and straight, that straight vertical line the whole time. Good. Give me one more. Good. And rest, bringing the center of gravity back around the heels. And when you're ready, transfer that center of gravity over to the right foot and tendu out to the side. Good. Rolling through that foot, meaning heel lifts first and then the ball of the foot. Good. Working through that foot. Three more. Good. Standing up nice and tall. Always growing taller. Good. And rest. Now, to the back, I'm going to turn towards the chair just to um, make it easier to see. Transfer that weight when you're ready over to that right foot. And then tendu back. See how I'm moving through my or working through my foot, I'm still lifting that heel up first and then the ball of the foot. Good. Standing up nice and straight, I'm not leaning forward. I have a straight vertical line that starts at the top of my head, through my center of gravity, and straight down to that supporting foot. Good. Excellent. And rest. Good. Now you can stay here facing the chair. I'm going to turn towards you to make it a little easier to see. We're going to balance here. We're going to lift those heels up when you're ready. Get that line nice and straight. Abs contracted in. And then big toe balance up here. Big and second toe. Big and second toe. Hold here. Abs tighter, grow taller. Abs tighter, grow taller. And relax down. Good. Give those legs a shake. Excellent job doing your tendus. Now we're going to change sides, okay? So change sides. You can turn around, or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. Scoot it up a little farther where you can see me. Okay. Tendus on this side. Now again, rotating out from your hip joints, growing taller. Okay, I'm going to face here. All right, we're going to tendu forward and in. Forward and in, making sure that your center of gravity is right over this supporting foot. Forward and in. Good, four more. Working through the foot. Good, three. Excellent, two. Last one. Good. And then center right over the heels. Same thing on the side. Transfer the weight. Rolling through that foot. Two. You got it. Working all those leg muscles. Do you feel it in your legs? I do. Good. Really try to feel the floor with your feet. Sometimes that's not possible with things like neuropathy. But if you're able to, Try your best to really feel the floor with the feet and roll through that foot. Good. Now to the back. I'm going to turn this way so you can see better. Transfer that weight, center of gravity, over to the supporting leg, and then working through that foot, tendus to the back. Standing up nice and straight, chin still parallel. Always work on that proprioception. You got it. Perfect for balance. Good. Last one. Good. Stay here. Lift those heels up. Grow taller. Transfer the weight to the big and second toes. Abs tighter. Grow taller. 
straight vertical line. Look at a straight vertical line in front of you, side of a window, a picture frame, and rest. Good. Give the legs a shake. Great balance. Okay, other side. Transfer to the other side. Good. We're going to um, practice picking up our foot and taking it out to the side. Now we're going to start in parallel, actually. So move your feet, move, sorry, move your legs to be parallel starting from your hip joints. We're going to pick up the outside leg and take it out to about second position and then push back in. Push off the floor, out to second and push back in. Hands out here, push off the floor. Excellent. Pick up. Good. Here we're picking up the knee, pushing off the floor. Practice, practice, practice. If you ever feel off balance, widen your stance. Pick up that knee, widen that base of support. Excellent. Two more. Last one. Good. And rest. Good. Give it a shake. We're going to do our ronde jambes from the hip joints. Go ahead and start in first position. Heels together, abs tight, center of gravity. A couple inches in front of that, those heels that are together. There we go. Okay. You're going to have your arm out in second position. Okay. Transfer that weight over to the right leg. Left leg goes forward, side, and back. Again, only from your hip joint. Good. You're nice and turned out. Forward, side, and back. Excellent. Rolling through that foot, just like I am here. Forward, side, and back. Good. Three more. Forward, side, and back. Excellent. Rolling through that foot. Good. And then end in first position, abs tight. Get that center of gravity back where it should be, right in the middle of both feet. Port de bras with the arms. We we're going to go forward. Open up the chest. Arm up to fifth. Over to the chair with your hips nice and square where they are. Deep breath in and come up and in first. Good. Again. Forward, open up the chest, arm above the head if you're able to, side stretch, deep breath in, excellent, good job. Okay, make sure you have a nice firm grip on that chair or always feel free to do this whole thing with your chair in front of you. I'm doing it like this so it's easier to see me. Transfer that weight. To that right leg. Get nice and straight. Try not to lean. Get those abs tight. Get that vertical line straight ended at this right supporting foot. When you're ready, balance and passe. You're going to lift that left foot up your right leg. You can go anywhere that's comfortable. You could even stay here at a coupe or you could go up to passe. Importantly, contract those abs. Get that vertical line Nice and straight. It ends right at this arch. Good. Try to take one finger off the chair. One finger off the chair. Abs tight. Lift up tall. Two fingers off the chair. Hold here. Balance here. And come down. Good. Pushing off the floor. Stretching out those feet. Good. Right and left. Go at your own pace always. And as you know, nothing should be painful in exercise. If something feels painful, you need to stop. There are modifications to every single exercise. So you always want to make sure that exercise is safe. Never experience pain. It should always be fun and slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. All right, rotate from the hips, rotate from the hips. We're going to do our ronde jambes here, okay? You're going to transfer that weight, transfer your center of gravity over to the supporting leg and then the outside leg. Tendus forward, 
rotates around to the back, making a half circle each time. With the leg straight, the leg is straight. Grow taller, abs tighter. Good. Four more. Four. Rolling through the foot. Three. Good. Two. Last one. And in first. Good. Take that arm port a bra forward. Out to the side, opening up the chest. Arm spit on O. Reach over. Only do what you're comfortable with. Deep breath in and down again. Porter bra, arms forward, out to the side. Open up that chest. Carefully lift up and over. Only do what's comfortable and what feels nice. Deep breath in and down. Good. Balance in passe. Transfer that weight. Transfer your center of gravity right over to the left foot. Now, carefully and slowly pick up your right leg. Take your right foot towards the knee. Again, you could go any level that's right for you. You could be down here in coupe, you could be right here, or in passe. Abs tight, grow taller, chin stays parallel to the floor. You're always working your proprioception. Try one last finger on the chair. Abs tighter, grow taller. Two fingers off the chair, abs tighter, abs tighter, grow taller, deep breath in, and relax down, good. Shaking out your legs by pushing off the floor, practice this. Concentrate on your feet without looking down on your, at your feet, working through the foot, pressing the floor, excellent, excellent, good. You'll relax your legs. We're going to concentrate on our upper body, okay? Relax your legs. Have your arms here in first position. Take them up to about your chest level, neck and shoulders, nice and relaxed, okay? Your fingers are right here in front of your chest. Act like you're holding a giant uh, beach ball with your elbows pointing outward. Now with your shoulder blades, contract your shoulder blades together and then come back in. Shoulder blades contract together and back in. Neck and shoulders stay relaxed. This is an upper back exercise. Good. Rotating out, your arm length stays the same the whole time because you are opening up your arms with your shoulder joint. Okay, the action is at your shoulder joint and your shoulder blades are contracting together. We always want to have strong rhomboids. Those are the muscles in between your shoulder blades. Having strong upper backs, having strong backs is very important for posture, as you all know. Good. One more. Good. And relax down. More shoulder rolls up and back. Good. Reach those arms up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch on the side of the body. Good. Just really stretching out and up. Good. Arms reach down. Shoulder rolls go up and back, making sure the palms of your hands and forearms are facing forward. And then reach your fingertips back. You're still standing up straight. You're not leaning forward. You're standing up straight and you just just feeling the stretch right here in the biceps, shoulders, and chest. Again, only do what you're comfortable with. Sometimes some uh, heart surgeries, you shouldn't go um, too far back. This should be okay just stretching out your, your biceps. But just so you know, make sure that you only do what you're comfortable with. Shoulder rolls go up and back. Give me two more. Good. Good. Deep breath in and out. Good. We're going to do some balance exercises here. Okay. We're going to be in first position again, rotating out from your hip joints, heels together, get that center of gravity a couple inches in front of those uh, heels together. Good. Transfer that weight over. We're going to do a balance here by doing a tendu and then using those 
nice thigh muscles. You're going to lift the leg up. Grow taller, abs tighter, abs tighter. Take one less finger off the, off the chair. One finger off the chair, abs tighter, grow taller. Two fingers off the chair. Deep breath in. You could do it, you could do it, and back to first. Good, excellent. Now you're going to do it to the back. Tendu to the back. When you're ready, here, I'm going to turn to the side here. Tendu to the back. Still standing up nice and straight. When you're ready, lift it up. Using these glutes, these glutes. One less finger on the chair. Abs tight, abs tight. Grow taller. Two fingers off the chair. Get those legs nice and strong. Grow taller, grow taller. Tendu and rest. Good. Get those legs a shape. Excellent work. Excellent work, everybody. We're going to go to the other side. Again, first position, rotating out from your hip joint only. Find that center of gravity. Now transfer that center of gravity to the inside leg. You're going to do that left foot with those nice thigh muscles. Carefully lift it off the floor and balance here. You can have your arm out in second or a hand on your hip. Abs tighter. Think about growing taller, growing taller. Chin parallel to the floor, hold here. One less finger on the chair. You're doing great. Two less fingers on the chair. Good, lift, 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 and back to first. Transfer that center back to the, oh, right over the heels. Now to the back. I'm gonna turn to the side here. You're gonna tendu that same foot after you transfer that center, tendu to the back. Make sure you're nice and straight, your abs are tight, and then carefully lift that leg off the floor using these glutes, okay? Using these glutes. Chin stays parallel. Doesn't matter how high this leg is. One less finger on the chair. Abs tighter, grow taller, standing up straight. Two fingers off the chair. You could do it, you could do it, nice and strong. Deep breath in and back to first. Excellent job. Shake out those legs. Shake out those legs. Now we're going to do some, uh, a couple more Ronde Jambes, but this time off the floor. Okay? So you're going to rotate your legs to be in first position. Arm out to the side. You're going to transfer your center of gravity over to the supporting leg. You're going to brush it forward. Side and back, good. Forward, side and back, excellent. Forward, side and back, good. Forward, side and back, excellent. Good, three more, three. Good, two, abs stay tight. Last one. Good. Now we're going to brush through and bop ma forward and bop ma back. Forward. Here, I'm going to turn to the side here and back. Good. Bop ma forward. Really pushing off the floor. Does not matter how high your leg goes. Use the floor and back to first. Excellent. Feet are in first position. You could have your hands on your hips. Facing the chair, whatever you're comfortable with. When you're ready, lift your heels up. Get that center of gravity right where it should be in between below his feet. Balance on big and second toes. Grow taller, abs tighter. Balance here, balance here. Excellent. And relax down. Good. Give those legs a shake. Give those legs a shake. We're going to go to the other side. Now before we do our... Ronde Jambes. I remembered that we did not do our um, our leg pickups on this side. I love practicing these leg pickups. Now we did them parallel, so rotate from your hips so your feet are facing forward. Do whatever you're comfortable with. You could go ahead and grab onto the chair here or face the chair, whatever you are most comfortable with. We're going to practice picking up the outside leg and taking it out to the side. We're going to push off the floor each time. 
I like to have my hands here because if you ever feel off balance, this is exactly what you do. You widen your stance, okay? You try to regain your balance. You might need to touch a wall or grab onto a railing, okay? So I always want the hands and the arms available. So that's why we practice like this. We also practice our proprioception, right? Get those chins parallel to the floor, looking straight ahead. Always know what your feet are doing. Always know where your feet are. It sounds easy, but it actually takes some thought and work. As you all know from my balance classes, we always practice these throughout the day, right? Good. Give me one more. And rest. Good. Give those legs a, a little shake, a little break. When you're ready, ronde jambes. Come to first position, rotating out from your hip joints. Center of gravity goes over, and then ronde jambes brush off the floor, forward, back, and around. Good. Brush and around. Good. Brush. Good. Forward and around. And I'm going to come forward. Forward. Good. Give me two more after this. Abs tight. Check your center of gravity. You got it. Good. Now our bot maws. We're going to brush through and forward. Brush through and back. Brush through and forward. And back. Good. You got it. Does not matter how high you get off the floor. Good. You can do it. You got it. Excellent workout, you guys. And rest. Good. Give those legs a little break. We're going to balance. When you're ready, get into first position. Abs tight. Hand here, one hand, or facing the bar. Up to you. When you're ready, lift those heels up. Balance here on your big and second toe. Abs tight. Chin parallel to the floor. Get those vertical lines straight. Find a vertical line side of a door, window, one less finger on the chair. Abs tight, grow taller, deep breath in, two less fingers on the chair. You got it, you got it. And relax down, good. Give those legs a shake. Now we're gonna do an exercise for our glutes, our seat muscles. As you know from my classes, we always want strong seats. It, your glutes are the powerhouse of your entire body. You always, always, always want to make sure that your hips and your glutes stay strong, okay? Get into first position, first position in dance where your heels are together and your toes are slightly out. Always make sure that your knees and toes are facing the same direction at all times. Doesn't matter if you're in exercise class or not, always make sure they're facing the same direction transfer that weight over to the, let's do the, um, the right leg and then tendu the left leg with your glutes so your legs stay straight. You're going to lift that leg off the floor, lift that toe up. Check your posture here, okay? Chest is open, chest is up, back is still as straight as possible with these glutes. You'll feel it. It's a seat exercise. You could do it. Stay strong. Give me two more. You got it. And rest. Good. Give it a shake. I'm going to turn maybe this way. will help. Time to do the opposite leg. Once you transfer that center, lift with your glutes. Lift. Two. Good. Lift. Chest open. Lift. Using you those glutes. Good. You got it. Lift. Five. Four. Excellent. And rest. Good. Give those legs a shake. How are you guys feeling? I think you worked out well. You did. All right. We're going to come to second position. We're going to End with a little port de bras. We're going to go forward with our arms, open our chest and shoulders. Carefully lift that arm to fifth on o. 
reach forward, deep breath in and out. Let's go from here, corner de bras, forward, open up the chest, arm fifth on O, in towards the chair, and open, good. We're going to tendu the outside leg, reach that arm up, over, good. and in, lift it up to passe, passe, abs tighter, abs tighter, one less finger on the chair, grow taller, get those center of gravities where they should be, and relax down, good. We're going to go to the other side quickly. If you guys don't have to do that, you can just carefully go to another sturdy chair. Good. All right. Tendu, second position, port de bras, arm forward. Side, open up the chest, arm fifth on O. Stretch over and arm open. Again, port de bras, forward. Open up the chest. Carefully, arm fifth on O. Stretch and open. Good. Tendu that outside leg. Good. And we're going to reach up and over. Deep breath in. Carefully bring it up to passe. Again, you could be in coupe down here. Passe. Abs stay tight. Abs stay tight. One less finger on the chair. You could do it. You could do it. Abs tight, grow taller, and rest. Good. Shake out those legs. Excellent. Roll those shoulders up and back. I'll try to come a little closer to the screen so you can see me. Good. Deep breath in. Roll those wrists around. It's so good to see you guys. And back the other way. Excellent. Stretch out all ten fingers. Stretch them out. Nice. Always work the back of your hands, strengthen the back of your hands. We're always strengthening the front, as you know. Good. Stretch out the front of the hands. Play the piano. No stress in those hands. No stress in those bodies. Good. Take a deep breath in. And out, opening up your chest. Deep breath in. And out. Give yourselves a great big hand. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.